Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Machine Day and I hope you're doing really, really well. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up donation goals on your stream. This isn't specific to Streamlabs OBS, but it does use Streamlabs Online browser source to achieve that. And it's a completely free widget that's available from Streamlabs Online. Within the video, I'll show you exactly how you can set up the donation goal, all the settings, how you can apply it as a browser source to your stream. I'll be covering it in Streamlabs OBS, but you can do this on XSplit, you can do it on OBS and lots of other different softwares as a browser source. If you find this useful, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up on the video. And if you want to see more videos from me, I've done loads and loads and loads of videos from Streamlabs and streaming in general. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Finally, if you've got any questions whatsoever, you want to pop onto my stream and ask me those if you want, or jump into the Discord. The Discord link is below, and you can get me daily at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you want to be doing here is navigating to streamlabs.com. If you don't already have an account, you'll need to set up an account, but you can use your Twitch or your YouTube gaming credentials to log into streamlabs.com. We then want to be navigating to the all widgets section here. If you can't find the all widgets section here, because they do sometimes change the layout and things like that, just do a search for widgets. There are loads of free widgets available and there are also some upgrades as well that you can get. If you do want to upgrade to Streamlabs Prime, you can get money off by using my affiliate code, which is in the link description below. I think it's like 10 or $20 money off that you get from that subscription. So yeah, free money basically. <laughs> what we're concerned with today specifically is setting up a donation goal and of course then adding that to the stream. So what we're going to do first, let's configure the donation goal by clicking on there and doing all these settings here. Now within this video, I'm not going to go into detail about the themed donation goals that you can get with certain stream themes. For example, this derelict widget by Hexam will have a donation goal theme to it that will look like that. I'll do that in a separate video. In this video, it's just the basics of how to add it to your stream. And I'll link the video to the themed version in the description below. So this is a really straightforward browser source. So all we're doing is we'll copy this link once we've done all of the settings here. And here is a preview of what we're actually creating the settings for. We can give it a title, for instance, new Ferrari or something. <laughs> Set goal amount. So we might want this in dollars. So let's say $300,000. It's going to be a very expensive Ferrari. The purpose of having a starting amount is just so that there is a, it's not starting empty. It's more of a psychological thing. If someone sees an empty bar, then generally it might not encourage them to uh, help you and support you in that endeavor. But if they see a half full bar, then that will potentially encourage them. So let's say we've all already raised 100,000 towards our Ferrari. Plot twist, we haven't. <laughs> and then we just put an expiry date on it. I think it's really very realistic that we can get another $200,000 within the next like day. So I'm going to set this for tomorrow. So I think it's really realistic that we can raise a 200,000 goal within the next one day. What we now do is we put start goal. That just activates it. This is a sample goal. We can now toggle between what mine looks like. So we see the words new Ferrari. We see the goal itself. We see the time left. One day to go. And obviously we've already started the bar at this level here. What we now need to do is copy the widget URL using this button here. And we're going to add this as a browser source on your stream and resize it to our liking. So what we now need to do is you select within Streamlabs OBS, select the scene that you want it to go within and then what we do is click the plus button here to add a new source. Now, the thing to bear in mind here, Streamlabs Online is a widget browser source that can work on any software. So there'll be slightly different versions of what I'm doing now for XSplit and for OBS and for all the different softwares out there that you use to stream with. So this video isn't just specific to Streamlabs OBS. So I'm going to click add a new source here. Now, the thing to bear in mind here, because I'm using Streamlabs Online and then a Streamlabs OBS software product or the streaming, the two things integrate very, very well. So another way that you can do this is adding a new source, clicking the plus button here, and then selecting donation goal. And all of those same settings that we've just configured online, you can add here through the donation goal. But I'm just gonna show it as a browser source instead. Basically all the widgets settings are pulled in through the API into the software. I think that Streamlabs is a way of keeping people within their infrastructure. So we're gonna add a browser source. We'll click add source here. We wanna add it as a new browser source and we can name it, uh, hope. <laughs> We've then got a preview. It's just a placeholder image, a, br a browser source placeholder image. Don't worry about that for now, but it shows that there is a browser source and where it is. You can set the height with the local file. So you might want it stored as a local file, but to be honest, you don't have to, it'll upload. Use custom frame rates if you want, control the audio via OBS. 
uh, custom CSS, all that kind of stuff. We're just going to paste in the donation goal widget URL that we copied to clipboard. Once we've done that, we click, click done. And as we can now see, the goal has appeared just there. Now what we can do is just resize it to however we want, whichever size you want. We might want to just put that in a certain area on the screen, for instance there, uh, and that's and that's everything. Now what will happen is every time there's a donation now, that will update with the amounts and that widget will keep track. So the final thing to note here, now that we've got it set up, is, well, how does the donation affect this? You do need to make sure that you have already integrated PayPal into Streamlabs OBS. If you've not integrated Streamlabs OBS, when someone makes a donation to your PayPal, that's not going to show here and it's not going to go up on the amount. And that will obviously mean it's purely just a visual donation goal, which still serves a purpose, but it's a little bit less interactive. Maybe a new Ferrari was probably quite ambitious. If you're having a much smaller goal, then the increments can make quite a big difference. So actually being able to see that happen on stream makes a big difference to the users, particularly someone that really wants to support you and see that. The way that you integrate PayPal is via the settings tab just at the bottom here, and you just follow the steps to be able to integrate your own PayPal into that. Now, finally, what I'm going to just do is go into my alert box here. Uh, and if you're wondering how to set up alert box, I've done a video for that also, which I'll link in the description below. I'm going to now send a test donation just to see if this actually changes. Let me just get my alert box actually turned on. If I now do another test donation, the alert box will come up. We'll see what the amount is and we'll see this change. $59. So John, who is testing, has donated $59. The API then is just updated to say, actually, that's not real money. It's a shame. <laughs> So there you go, a really simple, straightforward way of adding simple goals, support goals to your channel. They don't necessarily have to be monetary goals per se. It could be a visual goal and you can get quite playful with the settings there. Once again, if you found this useful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any questions at all, visit me at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana and have a wonderful day. Take care.